Hey everybody, welcome back to John's Firearms 705. Today's video is part three, the final installment of our GSG 15 build. Before we get started, let's just check safe the firearm. As you can see, there is an empty chamber flag in here. We'll go ahead and pull that out. Take a look in there. Chamber's good, feed path, mag well empty. This firearm is unloaded and safe for today's demonstration. Okay, I don't really have a whole lot that I have done to this since uh, part two. I was considering getting a vertical pistol grip, but uh, you know what? I really don't see the point in having that with a bipod. I plan on doing just some table shooting, some grouping. Uh, maybe a pistol grip is good on a higher caliber, but you really need the for the recoil of a 22. I don't think so. So all I went and did for the final uh, upgrade on this guy is we went and got these... Uh, quick takedown pins, the H&K style ones. Um, if you leave me a comment and you want to know uh, where to get them, I picked them up from a fella. I got four of them shipped to me. It was uh, $65 in total. Uh, they came to me within 10 days. And I mean, if you have one of these guns, a GSG 15 or 16, you know how hard it is to take out these pins. You need a screwdriver on each side now. Just pop it out. There you go. So that being said, that is the final build with this. We have the optic, we got some HK takedown pins, and I put a bipod on there. And that's simply all I'm gonna do with this uh, firearm. I'm not gonna go with a tack light. I don't plan on using it at night. I'm not gonna go with the vertical grip. There's really nothing else I need for this. Um, it's just gonna be a fun little uh, target plinkster at the range this summer. And uh, you know, I'll, looking forward to get some content to see how this Fiatchi red dot does um but anyway what i wanted to do today is i've seen a few videos on how to take these apart uh, you know like just a quick field strip for cleaning and every time i've seen a video there's only a few out there but every time they take the buttstock off they seem to have an issue with the spring in there and when they take out the last part it doink, pops out on them and i thought you know what i'm sure there's an easier way to do it so i messed around i tried a few things and i'm just going to show you uh, what I've learned, what works for me to take this apart, where it just feels like you have a lot of control over it. Uh, you're not too uh, worried about the springs jumping out. So I'll just go ahead and I'll show you what I do to take this apart. Again, remember, I have these quick release uh, takedown pins. Um, the way I'm going to show you works just fine, even if you use the regular pins. The, but the quick ones, uh, obviously, it's just a lot quicker. Okay, so first thing I do is uh, close up the bipod. And... To take this apart now, because I have the quick takedown pins, all I need for field stripping this, two Allen keys. I'm not exactly sure what the sizes are. One's a little bit smaller, one's a little bit bigger. And take my smaller one, and on either side near the buttstock, I'm gonna take out this screw first, and on the bottom, on the other side rather, I'm gonna take out this one. So let's go ahead and take those two out right now. All right, there's one. A little wee guy, no washer, stick that aside, flip it over, take out the other one. Okay, there's a second one. You can get that out of the way, and we no longer need the smaller Allen wrench. So now all that's holding this on is inside our buttstock here. I'll open it up. You got one screw up in here with an Allen uh, key, and there's also a washer. We'll go ahead and take that out and in behind there is a spring, but we don't need to worry about it as long as we keep that takedown pin that holds the upper and the lower together. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this screw out here and keeping in mind there is a washer. So just watch for that, you don't wanna lose it. Now, as you can see, as I take that screw out, the stock is starting to be pushed out because of the spring in there, but that's okay. It's not going to jump away on you because that tape down pin is holding it all in place still. There we go. There's a little screw. And the wee washer goes with it. Okay. So now the only thing holding this in place is this tape down pin. Now you want to leave the front one in so that your lower doesn't just fall off. Now just simply close your stock back up, rest it on something, kind of compress that spring in a little bit, right there, 
pop out that pin, keeping this compressed. Okay. So you can see now it's trying to pop out. So I'm just going to compress that spring in there, hold it tight, pull out my pin. And there we go. There's the butt stock. There's that spring, get that out of the way. Now we can just go ahead and pop out our other takedown pin. Put that out of the way. Lower will come off. The bolt, slide right out. There you go, you got access to your bore, access to your, uh, everything in here, get that all cleaned up with the carbon. And of course you got your bolt. And then you got your lower, which you can, uh, clean up and whatever so that's it that's how easy it is to take this apart put it back together you know obviously it's the same thing just in reverse put in our bolt get our lower drop your front end on rock it in place throw your pin in there okay so that's the front end now we have to overcome this spring what I find the easiest way Again, I get it uh, balanced up on something nice and solid. Get your spring, set it on top of here, just like that. Get your butt stock ready. It's in the, I guess, uh, open position, not the folded position. Get your other pin ready. Now, if you have a quick takedown one or you're using the regular one, it doesn't matter. This works with both ways. Now I grab it around here put my thumb down in here to squeeze the upper and lower together so that that all stays there. Then all we want to simply do is compress this down and when we get it in far enough, we want to pop in our takedown pin in there. And that's the easiest way to do it. I find it'll hold everything in place and it makes the other screws and bolts a lot easier and it takes all the stress down here. Uh, some people, Try and put in these side screws first, which can work, but then you have some really weird, funky torques uh, sideways. And, uh, you know, some of these pieces are pretty flimsy plastic. I really don't want to put too much stress on those. So let's go ahead and I'll show you the way I do it. Like I say, I got my takedown pin handy. I'm going to compress this in here. Got my pin. Simply pop it in. So now that's kind of holding the spring in place, I can go ahead and open up my stock, hold it down out of the way. Now you're going to grab that little bolt, a little washer, get those guys together. Simply drop it in this top hole. Grab your uh, Allen wrench, the larger of the two. I'm just going to simply compress this a little bit to get the screw started. Oops, try again. There we go. There we go. Okay, get that all nicely snugged up. Close our stock again, and then simply put in these two little screws. Again, you don't really want to reap those in there. You want them snug, but you don't want to be stripping out that hole. That's it. My pinion on this side. There we go. It's simply that easy, guys. Two Allen keys, a little bit of compression of a spring, and you got your. Are you kidding me? 
Sorry about the technical difficulties there, guys, but you know what? Shit happens. Anyway, so there we are. We're all back together. It's pretty simple, you know, a couple of Allen keys. The way I showed you, it's a little bit more control over the uh, spring in there. Um, yeah, so that's really all I got. Look forward to some videos out at the range this year. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to try out that 110 drum, uh, 110 round drum mag. See what this little firearm has to do. Anyway, that's it, guys. It's just a short little video on this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, leave a comment, share the video. And as always, have fun, be safe, peace out. We'll see you at the range. And in the immortal words of the Transformers, we are here. We are ready.